Here we go. World Crokinole Championships 2024 on the double side, as you can clearly see with four players around the table. We're coming into this final match of the round robin. Very, very tightly contested. Slaters with 32. Tracy and Hutchinson, 31. Conmen of Conrad and Ryman with 30 points. Travis Keener and Chris Floshbatch with 28 points. Very, very tightly contested. All of these matches have just been a battle. See the players getting in their practice shots. This will be to determine the winners of the doubles of the 2024 World Crokinole Championships. Slaters with a one-point advantage over Tracy and Hutchinson going into this last round means Tracy and Hutchinson need to secure a win. A tie will not do it. Players settling in quickly, getting their open 20s on point. Fred Slater first to miss. See what Hutchinson goes for here. Oh, wow, I think he's going for that follow through 20. Slater makes him pay for that mistake. Slater's out to an early lead here. Three 20s to two, although they're against the hammer. Team of Tracy and Hutchinson going to be looking to roll in or get themselves a hide or something. Here may be an option for a hide. Justin Slater, not, not easy to hide from, but that's a pretty good, pretty good offering. And as I say that, Slater just sets his disc down, makes it look easy. Nice shot by Tracy, getting that up in between the pegs, making things a little more awkward for Fred. Fred may have left an opportunity here. Hutchinson very proficient with these. See what he's got. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Tracy saying the disc actually waved at him. It was teetering on the edge of that 20 hole. Tracy left to shoot through the pegs. Gets the takeout. See what Fred Slater does with this. Definitely going to be looking to stay outside. Oh. I think, not sure if he meant to do that, but here we are, Hutchinson with an opportunity for a drop back, take out 20. Big shot right there, draws it even in the 20 cup. Each team with three shots left, Justin lips out of that 20. Here Hutchinson asks Tracy if he can stay away. Definitely needs to secure the off, and he gets the take away, he gets the roll away. Very, very nicely done. See what Fred goes for. Is he just going for the takeout or is he going to try for a bounce back? Looks like he was happy, content with the takeout. Winding down the final shots here. Three shots remain in this round. Beauty, beauty shot by Hutchinson. Leaves Slater nothing but, well, I guess he's got the option of a follow through and that is a terrible position for a follow through. Or he's going to be looking for a hide. <laughs> and he... That's a, a pretty decent high. Tracy needs the off, and he needs to keep a shooter on. He can't lose a shooter, and he gets it. Once again, the editor showing us the highlights of that round and not the lowlights. Hutchinson first to act. Oh, lips out. Gives Justin a happy birthday, Merry Christmas gift all in one. Slater unable to secure the off. That could prove to be costly. Slater's still in a good position because tied in the 20 cup and they have hammer. Although, let's see if Slater, or sorry, Hutchinson can uh, can work with this offering right here. Gets the touch 20. Leaves it a little bit awkward for Justin, actually. He's going to, he's the only choice here is to go up the left side. Lips out a little bit, leaves a backboard for Tracy. Can he make him pay for that? He cannot. Didn't get the 20 he was looking for, but he's left Fred with, uh, with something to think about, that's for sure. Hutchinson Tracy with a 120 advantage. Slater's with the hammer and about to be sitting two discs on likely. Oh, lost his shooter. <laughs> Even in the seriousness of the moment, you can see the players really having a good time playing the greatest game on earth. What's Hutchinson able to do with this? 
Gets the off, leaves it a little close to the hole, but Slater's going to be forced over way over to the left again. Makes easy work of it that time. Gets the off and the 20. Pressure on Tracy now. Mm. It was a little bit long. I think the Slaters are looking to play defense here, not offense. It's interesting. You see the strategies from different teams or different players, whether they're more inclined toward the offense or the defense. Hutchinson going for the offense because he needed it and uh, ends up giving Slater a nice little backboard. Slaters are up one and have the hammer. Tracy settles down, drains that 20. They needed it. Fred gets the takeout, leaves it in a favorable position for them. Hutchinson likely going to be pushing for a follow through 20. Here we go. Oh, loses his shooter. Yikes. Is Justin able to make him pay for this? Comes up short. Here's an opportunity for Tracy for a drift 20. Oh, wow. In and out. Oh, speaking of in and out, that was all the way in. And now it is out. Is Hutchinson able to make him pay? This round getting super interesting. Boom, takes it. Takes the 20 advantage, still sitting a red disc on. Slaters have hammer, but oh, that was a mistake by Justin. Tracy, all he needs to do now, secure that takeout. Fred's got nothing. He needs an off and a 20. Nothing to do but shoot and pray. That round is done. Tracy and Hutchinson take a 4-0 lead in this four-round game. Nice touch 20s here. Nice takeout 20 coming. Third round, Justin Slater first to act. Drains that 20. These last two rounds are huge. Tracy lips out. He's talking to the disc. He's talking to himself. I'm not sure. I don't know what he's saying. I don't know who he's talking to. <laughs> I'm trying to get something figured out. That could be a costly miss right there. Oh, Slater unable to make him pay for leaving that close to the hole. Hutchinson left with a tough shot here. There's a lot of disc hanging over that hole. And forced to way over to his left. Gets the off, unable to secure the 20. See what Slater goes for here. Usually these two players tend to be, uh, these two players, I mean the Slaters, tend to lean a little more to the defensive side. And uh, they're good at it. They're very good at it. Uh, that said, it looks like Fred may be lining up for a 20 here. Little debate between teammates. Mm. Fred left it a little close to the hole. Hutchinson and Tracy discussing troughing the disc. Some people say that's unsportsmanlike. Other people say that's good strategy. Justin is going to be hard pressed to disrupt that, although I think that's what Fred is asking for. Hutchinson has left that hangar 20 for his partner, putting some faith in him. Slater was sure to roll it far enough to not set Tracy up for a double takeout. Oh, 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 oh. Huh. Oh, Tracy and Hutchinson deciding which, uh, which way they should go, come to a decision, and that was just barely lipped out there. Again, that uh, aforementioned defensive play that I mentioned as Slater has a beautiful roll away there. He didn't even think about going for that 20. All he wanted to do was get away. Tracy pushed in. He's saying he didn't mean to get in that far, but here they sit. I think it worked out. Hutchinson with an opportunity. 
Hutchinson and Tracy with a chance to get back in this. They've got the hammer. They're down to 20. Beautiful shot by Hutchinson. Fantastic. Wow. Hmm. Hutchinson and Tracy opting for a touch 20 here. Although they're kind of asking for trouble. They're, uh, they're running out of bullets and leaving two black discs on. Slater uh, splits the pegs. Splits the I meant buttons, but he splits the splits the uprights. Tracy going big there, messes up. This is one of these rounds that I think Tracy would like to forget about, so uh, maybe he shouldn't be doing commentary on it. <laughs> one of the most important skills an athlete can have is their forgettery. So I gotta wipe this one from the memory bank. That's big right there, that uh, Justin Slater 20. Here we go, final round. Tracy starts out, comes in just a little bit hot and lips out. This round right here is so, oh, so critical. See Tracy checking the clock. Hutchinson rolls in. Slater's with the hammer, so the pressure clearly on Tracy and Hutchinson. Tracy unable to secure the drift 20. Slater sitting two discs on. Hutchinson looking to roll over and draw a mistake out of Slater, making him shoot through the pegs and, oh wow. That was a, that they narrowly missed a problem there. Slater actually had a red disc in his hand and was about to shoot before Tracy went, whoa! I don't know what the rule would be there, but it would be, uh, would have been a little dysfunctional to sort that one out. Slater's in control of this round right now as they are on the outside. Running out of discs and running out of time. Tracy needs a follow through 20. What's he got here? Can he bring it? Got some follow through, just uh, a little off on the angle. Great spot that Fred Slater leaves that disc in. Oh, wow, that was so close. So close. Slater makes him pay for that almost 20. Tracy evens up the 20 cup. Here we are, 120 each. Time is up. Fred Slater still has one shot left. That is the rule. That it gets you get to even up the shots. This shot right here is for the World Crokinole Championships. Valid shot. That will make them the 2024 World Crokinole Champions. Hope you've enjoyed this content. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Check out all the other videos, and there's going to be lots of singles action from the 2024 Crokinole World Crokinole Championships coming at you real soon. Most importantly, make it a great day. Day.